Hey everybody, welcome back to Game of Tones. In this little quick mini-series where I just start building tracks from scratch. I think that a lot of people prefer that as it shows my awkward workflow. And today I'm thinking of building something a little bit more mellow. So I'm gonna actually lower this down a little bit. I don't know how mellow, but I want something really chilled out. We just had a weekend with a lot of rain. So, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and just, you know, I don't have a title for it yet, but I want that mood to be really laid back. So I don't really know what I want, but let's experiment here, right? Let's start getting the mood going. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to rename this, this drum pattern. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to basically just use it as a metronome. I, I like doing this usually uh, in most of my tracks, starting off, just so I can keep the, the, the rhythm in my head. Nothing too crazy, right? So... Let's make a repeat of that. Okay, cool. So I'll pan this one a little bit left and this one a little bit right. Now what I want to do here is just hold that there, right? So in the, in the process of doing that, usually I like doing a piano here or some kind of like key or road piano or maybe even like a pad. Just something to really start the movement happening. And once the movement starts happening, my life becomes so much easier. So I'll go back in here. And I usually like to dig into my piano here. I have it from uh, Impact Soundworks, the Pearl piano. It takes a little bit of time to load sometimes, but um, it's a pretty good plugin. I Honestly, I'm not the best with it either, but uh, it sounds pretty authentic to me. Um, sometimes it could be a little loud, but let's see if I can figure something out here. So this is the metronome going. And what I'll do is I'll just play along with it. Hmm. I think it's that's not too bad either. That's something like that maybe. It's also too dark. Maybe backwards. Hmm. Not really feeling that too much. Maybe not. But E. You know, I actually, so the funny thing is, I don't really like a lot of the early stages of building, but I think that was going fairly well. I like that chord there. I'm not 100% what that is. Let's find out. E, G, okay, so there's an E, G, B here. But then a little bit of a D and an F sharp adds a little bit more flavor. So I'm gonna add that in there. And we're gonna extend them. Make them come all the way out here. I don't want them to slam down too hard on the velocity. I want them to be like a little bit muffled up. So let's see if I can do this right, time it correctly. Maybe a little bit lower. That's nice too. But if that's the case, the piano has to be a little bit louder. So let's just put the gain up a little. Not too much. Okay, so the question is the movement here. So I like that start off. Where do I want it to go from there? That could work, right? That's disgusting. I hate it. That feels good to me. Kind of Persona-esque. Mm -hmm. Almost seems like this Halo feel too. Let's see. that actually let's put it in if it sucks we can always take it out later this is just to keep keep the uh, ideas moving and then maybe Ooh. it kind of calls for a resolve coming here and then we we'll go back to the E maybe I 
problem yet too. I might be going a little too far ahead, but it might work out. Let's see. Whoops. Save data, always save. it so something simple like this is really good because those chords can really just build the song so what I can do is I can copy and paste it and have that repeat itself now I don't really know um, if I'm really really liking the piano there but what I can do too is just copy everything here and maybe try and switch it up a little bit so I can add in an EP piano maybe it might create a different mood something maybe that I'm looking for and then Get the color scheme going here. And maybe we can dig into Zebra. I'm a big fan of the Zebra pianos. I'm a preset junkie. Like, and I know it's not really the best thing to do, but if the tools are working, then they're working. So my whole thing is not to overcomplicate things. If I find something and it's doing the job it's doing, I'll stick with it. I'm just that kind of person. So I'm gonna actually copy and paste that same pattern that I took from the piano and put it into the EP piano. So now we have something a little interesting here. So I want to actually mute the regular piano and see how the EP sounds. Nice. I really do like that. So maybe if I could do this smart, <laughs> I can maybe, maybe something like, maybe, you know, I'm not hundred percent sure. What if they sound like together? Does it work? Kind of. Maybe I'll pan the EP a little bit more left so it's not clashing. Nice. So the movement is happening here and I guess what I really want is actually a beat. Um, I don't know exactly to which to which kind of funk I want here. And this is a little bit of trial and error, but um, I'm gonna think about this for a little bit. So usually I would start off with the intro. So my intro would probably remove some of these drums and maybe the EP can start it off. Or maybe I can even add in something like uh, like a warm element here. Like, you know, the, the fun part about this is you, the ideas come and they go and it's about building. And so kind of like Lego blocks, if something doesn't fit, just snap it right out. I'm gonna go into Omnisphere because like I love Omnisphere. I think it's like one of my favorite plugins. <laughs> very, 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 oh, the Adagio warm strings actually might be really good for this. So let's see if I can play alongside that and see if I can make something happen. I think it's totally coming alive. And I think I'm gonna put that in there. I'm not 100% what I did there. I think I started on the E, like I did last time, EGB. I think that's a safe bet. Can't go wrong. Let's do that. I'm gonna jump down to the C, E, G. And then the D of sharp A. And then back to the E again. And this is just for like body. You don't necessarily need it. So now it's getting somewhere. And so when it gets to this part, I think I want this to actually repeat itself again. Maybe a little bit higher on the velocity to show that it's like uplifting. I don't want it to be too loud. So let's see. And so I think at this point, the beat comes in here. And that's the fun part, right? Like, what am I gonna do? I don't even know. But um, I think what I'm gonna go and dig into here is the uh, 
the reverse crash because I know that this is just going to be where the song actually starts to pick up and it does its thing. Let's just lower the volume on that a little bit. I know how loud those can get. Okay, let's put it down here because I don't really need it right now. So my whole thing here now is how do I uh, effectively lead into the actual melody or the actual feeling? It's there, um, but I need to make something travel. Maybe even at the end of this last pair of drums here, I can make this unique. And then add in a subtle snare and kick pattern that makes a transition well. And then what I can do is I can actually even copy the same pattern here for the pianos. And even add in the pad here and then just work on creating a drum pattern that's gonna work for what I'm trying to do. So let's just take a listen to that one more time. Hmm, so it's gonna start probably somewhere around here. So let's dig in there. Oops, <laughs> OBS Studio. Start right about here somewhere. So let's see, um, what am I looking at? Maybe like a hip hop kind of snare kind of a thing here. Hmm. Mm -mm. Doesn't sound really good to me. You know, I don't know what I want to do, but I'm going to just continue because something doesn't feel right 100%. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'm going to see if I can find it during the uh, messy phase. I hate it because I don't feel like it's doing what I want it to do right now. But let's see. So let's just start it off on pattern three. What would I want this to ideally sound like? I'm trying to find that now. Mm-mm. breakbeat hip hop -y feel so far. Um, it's like not too bad, but it could be better. I don't know. Like what I can do is like, let me think of it again. Cause I don't know, it doesn't feel right to me. Honestly, it doesn't sound that horrible, but I think what I can do is even play with this even further. Like, let's say if I left that alone, right? As much as I, I feel so indifferent about it, if I copy and paste this again, I can just use this, this whole section as like um, kind of an awkward buildup for something to happen here. But whatever happens here has to trend, like completely contradict whatever this is, right? So what I'm saying is, these drum patterns cannot go here again. And I think what can what I can do is, well, first and foremost, do I, I don't even know if I like those kicks and snares. I'll keep them for now, but maybe I'll add a, a reverb on the snare. Let me hear it one more time. Hmm. Oh, I have two snares on the same. So what I can do is make a whole new drum pattern here and something a little bit more uniform, a little bit more expected, something a little bit um, less uh, jumpy, uh, something more straightforward, right? Can't break beat everything, but uh, let's see. Mm -mm. 
maybe here. Uh, that can actually kind of carry it out. So a little bit of variation would be nice. I think it could come in maybe about here. What I do though. So it's it's getting some shape. Um, I think a baseline is horribly horribly missing. So what I'm thinking of is just adding it in here um, to to contradict what's going on in this middle area there. So you know what I'll do? This is just like ideas, right? Like this is not something that I I'd probably like post up. I mean, I might if I uh, finish it up. It all depends on how I really feel about it. I tend to leave a lot of tracks in the graveyard sometimes, but I don't know. I should stop doing that. But um, let's stick into some bass lines. I don't know what's going on. I want something a little bit more authentic, maybe. These presets take a little while to load. I do like acoustic basses. Let's see if um, try electric though. Clean Fender. Hopefully this sounds pretty decent. But yeah, Trillion I like a lot. I just picked it up and it's like one of my favorite bass plugins of all time. I think it's insanely, insanely good. Maybe. Um, so you know what? It's um, trial and error, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But I think we can at least dig in there and see what comes out. Just like lost myself. Here we go. Let's go into the piano roll. I think we can always start on that E. That E is a safe bet. But what I'm gonna do first is uh, pan the bass to the left. Maybe duck the volume a little bit so it's not too too loud. Let's see. And the C. And I really do like it. So it's taking some shape. I'm just gonna put a little EQ on there. The bass is a little bit crazy for the Trillion. I love it, but I'm just gonna take a little bit off that, uh, that really, really low end there. And I don't think I need too much of the high end either. So this idea is coming along. So I don't really know. There's not much variation happening. I think that's a problem with me, but let me take another listen. So we can find a gap where I can make it a little bit better, a little bit more interesting. I could move the bass down here actually, right? That might work better. Right? And then delete this. And this. And this. Yeah, 
you know what now I think I, I see where this is kind of going so what I'm gonna do here is actually remove um, that same copied pattern I, which I did here I didn't want all of that to be the same exact thing but I do want the same exact instruments so the fun part is these are all just sharing the same exact chord progression and it's still moving and it moves very well they all like are in unison so it's not a bad idea but I'm gonna make one of these unique right the reason why I'm doing this is because while I do love the chord progression, it's, um, you know, it gets tiring, and so it's boring. Like, you've heard it, you know, twice already. Um, time to switch it up. So I don't know what I'm going to do here, but I want to keep it in the same realm. This is also one of my <laughs> my worst parts, because I'm not the best at chord progressions, but now that you've got some movement happening, what can happen here is uh, it's time for you to throw off the, the listener with some cool variation. So for the EP piano, I think we were kind of here... Right? Yeah. So, what can I do to hold something that holds true to that and then switch it up to match the new drum patterns here? So, I'm just gonna have fun with this and see if I can find something decent. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Maybe start on the E again, except instead of going down to the C, it can do the D. Too. I'm actually really liking that idea. I don't want to go too far out of bounds, right? Something romantic. I think there's a couple of ideas I'm playing with here, but they're all leading in the same sort of direction. So let me go back here and try and find that. So I think it's... That's kind of funky. I'll do it. That's kind of a happy accident, these two here. Together they sound really... Um, Interesting. I don't know. I don't think it's wrong, but it could be wrong, right? But it sounds right. It has like a little bit of a funkiness to it, so I'll keep it. And then what I'll do is I'll go straight down to the D, right? Kind of cool stuff. And then maybe then the C. I'm actually thinking of um, rolling the notes as well, so they don't all hit at the same time. And then maybe the that can, that can work, right? So at this point, we've got another progression happening. Let's listen to it again to make sure that it does make sense. So like from about right here. So when this makes sense, what that automatically means is if I took that same pattern, took it into the piano, made it unique, deleted this, and then put in the new pattern, this is probably going to hold up well as well. So they're going to just sound the same. Same might be set for the pad too. We're gonna make it unique, delete the old pattern, paste the new one, and uh, you know, just experimenting. We'll see how it sounds. Not 
not too bad. So I think what's going to happen here is the baseline is going to come back. And I'm not sure what pattern I'll use, but what I'll do is um, the same value here, delete all of these. This is a little tricky. I mean, I can keep the bass simple as well. I mean, I don't want to like really go too crazy. I want this to be like more of a mellow track. It doesn't have to be too crazy either. I think I might just keep it simple for the sake of the video. But I do love the uh, Trillium bass. It sounds so beautiful. Let's see. Maybe that's a good idea. So let's go here. So I can go up an octave to the, the E here. How does that sound? And then it might work the same way if I went down to the D. Let's see. Something simple. So, you know, this is kind of shaping up to, to do something. I think at, at its core, the song in itself is basically built. Now it's just taking the things that you'd really like and then expanding on them or taking the things that you don't like and get rid of them. But um, to be on the, the safe side, um, I think that I can go back, listen to it from the beginning to end, and see where, where it's really going, if it's something that I can really feel or something that needs to change drastically. And this is the trial and error part again. So the intro itself sounds pretty cool. Um, I think it might be fun if it had like a filter on it a little bit, like to, to kind of make it fade in almost. <laughs> like, let me see. I don't know if I can, actually it might sound really bad, but let's find out. You never know, right? Like, uh, we'll pass maybe. Sounds like it's in the distance. Actually could be kind of fun so let's actually put an automation clip on this let's find out and then maybe it's um it starts coming back to normal officially at this section here but it kind of um fades into that i wonder if i could work it let's see Sounds kind of fun, like old school radio. Listening to this again, I actually really like it a lot more now. It's getting more character in there. I think what's what it could be cool. It's it's up in the air. Maybe some kind of a lead here, or an, uh, it wouldn't have to be a lead, but something with a little bit more high end to differentiate. I don't even know what I want to call it. I just call it lead for argument's sake. Put that pink back in there. <laughs> and um, what I can do is do, 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 do. sweet. All right. So because I feel like the the song itself has like a lot of low and mid. But nothing to really make it shine. And I don't know what I want here because I don't want it to be something completely ridiculous. So my one of my safest options is to go into contact. And I love this guitar so much. It's really, really clean. And just with a decent amount of reverb on it, not too much, just a little smidge. And um, what I'll do is maybe duck more the low side and focus more on the high mid 
the treble side. And then, I don't know if I need anything else actually. Maybe just to try playing around with that section. Maybe I can find something that works. If not, then it's okay. I mean, it's just about trying and um, it may work and it may not. And you just never know. thinking it would be actually kind of cool because it's kind of faded in the back there. I want to make it jump out some more. I don't know if I want a delay on there, but I'm going to try a little bit. A slight delay. It might sound a little wonky though, right? I don't know. It may work and it may not, but I think it's still lacking on the high end. Let's see. ideas are coming here and uh i don't know what to pick so i don't know there's something that that has to go there right like it sounds like there's just something that needs to to be said there and i don't know what it's gonna be um i could actually even try doing something a little crazier right which is like go back in a zebra and just play around with some of the the leads i have like there's so many i mean i don't want anything too bananas like i don't know what a banana town like i want something decent I don't know if that would work. If there was something a little softer, that would be great, right? Like something... Hmm... I don't think so. Let's see, I want something that's not too busy, you know? It's a really slow song, so I don't think it needs to be anything crazy. cool I can actually go into this I'm actually really bad at this but you can go into this record button here and sometimes if you have ideas you can just sketch them down so I'll hit the play button and try it So there it is, right? And so it's not going to be on the money. Usually it's a little, a little way it's a little off, but you can auto quantize it. It may work and it may not. Sometimes I don't like to do that. Well, let's take a look. So it does, it does like switch up the pattern way too much. So let's try it here the way it was originally intended. I didn't like that way at all. basically all that this track is going to have and then it's just a matter of like 
dipping into different pieces and subtracting and adding and subtracting and adding. I actually, I actually might go back and, and finish this one up because I kind of like it. But uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, again. And if you want more of these videos, these kind of like sketch ideas and just ways to just work and odd, awkward <laughs> workflows, feel free to tune in at any time. Always feel free to shoot me a message. I love this kind of stuff. And that's all, musicians. Take care. Cheers.